If I want to hate people, you know who I will hate? Bill Gates. I will hate people who shake the world. Not self-styled tax evasionists. I have no time for that. We are going to fight dirty people. We don't care what people say. We will fight them until the nation gets better. The same way I've been fighting Anadu. Same way I've been fighting Baumia. Same way I fought Bahama when he was in power. Same way I fought before. I would wait for some charlatan to come and lead all of us into a, a sinking Titanic. Vimbas. We are not crazy people. We have brains. Somebody can just disappear and go and steal money from all farmers and all people in England and America. Steal their credit cards and so on and so forth and appear all of a sudden and say he has money, vote for him. And idiots also follow and go and then vote for people like that. At the end of the day, when we are suffering, we say we don't understand. Look how the Nakufado is behaving. Like a baby with no brains. Black Rasta, Egusuaya, Take, Echesenana Kwame Bediakun, Ana Cheda, Dudona, Esanso, Efrenu, Jacob Freedom, Caesar. Black Rasta, in series of video, Ake Kanadrin, Edi Atre, Echese Cheda. Now, this new attack is based on the fact, say, GRE, Abimeke allegation, say, Cheda, Edeka, seven million ghana cities that is in tax evasion into your money they have a legal battle of which nana kwami bedi akwabe reply um nana kwami bedi ako in his response status says or they will car and your newspaper mu and our odini din ever quack or two i was all inviting no 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 car not just a trial now state is say he has been paying taxes for long and continues to pay and will continue to pay into any any diaba newspaper mu and ever manage i the new force and i say vying for presidency of uh, ghana according to black rasta or say for someone seeking to become a president if it has the equivalent to arm robbery or say cheddar a hey, we into or no or allow a uh, someone like him to rule and uh, take the affairs of uh, the nation Ghana or to neboy ki kana jin editor Jacob Freedom Caesar na 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 kwami bediaku calling him arrogant criminal and someone who is not fit to uh, rule Ghana or to also cramp when make it some indirect allegations say uh, na na kwami bediaku eku VSKB credit card theft ewo uh, landing among others ni video e uh, make it train ama e uh, binu me bisa say uh, what at all has na na kwami bediaku done against him mama yanko she full video of hsa black rasta flowing his mind now yeah kai musa mo subscribing so and my vim bars on youtube yeah but it makes you responsible that is why in some churches people pay tight it's a tax it's normally a small percentage my brother my sister a small percentage of your earning in some countries it's even worse I was in America the other day and I paid so much tax I was almost frustrated but I told myself I am paying this for all my wonderful brethren and sisters who continue to live in this country I'm also paying this because I came into the country and enjoyed what they use tax to achieve that is what tax is and that is what it's used for why would a man want to evade tax? One, lack of patriotism. Two, kleptomania. Somebody who is born to be a thief, he just loves stealing, would like to evade tax. And thirdly, somebody who just does not understand what tax is. Vimbas. These are conditions under which somebody can evade tax. Chada runs from GRA, and GRA is Ghana Revenue Authority, right? Over 7 million Ghana CD tax evasion. This is Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA. They are responsible for our tax collection, and so on and so forth. And my brother, my sister, today when I saw the headline, I was so frustrated and disappointed. I didn't know whether I should evaporate or i should just get lost run the story my youth watch the story and this one my brother my sister is shocking cheddar owes over seven million ghana cities in unpaid taxes 
documents from GRA reveal. And Chada is the man whose photograph you see in there. Loudmouth, braggart. I have it all. I have all the money. I will buy your radio station and get to demoted. This is a guy who believes that the money he has can let him get everything in the world. Modern day Hakim coming to Africa from America. This is the guy. My brother, this is the man who has it all, yet doesn't want to be responsible. Let's use the right words. Remember I told you this guy had some people work for him and he decided not to pay them. They ran over to me here. At the time I did not even know him that much. They gave me his number. I called him and spoke to him. And after some deliberations he agreed that well he will pay the people. And the monies involved, some small, small monies here and there. It's not about how much it is. It's always about the content. It's a principle, right? If a man steals one CD and you steal one million, you are both thieves. So I understood why a man refused to pay some people who had worked for him. Not because of the magnitude of the money, but because of the principle behind it. But it kept repeating itself. Some other people came over. They worked for the man. He didn't want to pay them. He talks to his workers anyhow. insults them anyhow in public and all that. I know Ghanaian workers can be crazy sometimes. Some of them can even steal from employers and cripple the whole business. The next day they are in church praying for another job where they can go and steal and cripple and run to church again to pray. It's a cyclical stupidity. It's sad. It is only in our country where you run around with a CV looking for a job. And after you struggle to get the job, instead of playing your role to keep the job's wheels rolling and well-oiled, you rather make the wheels rusty, steal the ties of the business, and cripple the business only for you to run into church again, praying that you get another job. What kind of a case is this that we are suffering from in this country? Sometimes employers like Cheddar could get so angry and talk to people anyhow. Because sometimes you want to understand why people behave like animals Vimbas. when they are actually called human beings. I understand the brother sometimes. So I decided to dash it away and deal with the reality on the ground. But the issue kept repeating itself. He started boasting all over that he's the savior of Ghana. He came again and told us that uh, he is the right definition of wealth. Such arrogance. Do you know what it means to say the right definition of wealth? It means what people should be using wealth for. What wealth really stands for. That is who I am. So your wealth, is it actually coming from tax evasion? Is your wealth coming from stealing like this? To evade tax is equivalent to stealing. That is thievery. I don't respect any man who evades tax. I have no respect for any man who does illegal connection. Long before Cheddar read his head in this country, I mentioned this over and over. Those who follow this show, they know what we're talking about. We have always told you to pay tax. Even if the government is as lousy as hell. Pay tax. Do your bit. So you can stand in front of the dirty government and say, Listen, what did you do with our tax money? You understand what I'm saying? So when a guy, self-styled scrap seller, who made one million pounds, British pounds, when he was 21, bought a car at the age of 16. My brother, I have never made one million Ghana cities let alone one million pounds or one million and i'm not ashamed to say that for him to make that money i applaud pa, 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 pa. oh good if i have the opportunity to sit to it cheddar i would now go to school as to how i can also make one million pounds that's the kind of respect i give to people who have achieved something because the bible i read tells me that if you do not respect the anointing you cannot benefit from it. 
That's the respect I gave to him. Until he stooped so low and behaved like an ordinary whatever. And I realized that no, this is a low-minded guy. And I will not sit down for a low-minded guy to take me through what all these dirty politicians have taken me through. And some fool will sit somewhere and say, hey, he's a hater. If I want to hate people, you know who I will hate? Bill Gates. I will hate people who shake the world. Not self-styled tax evasionists. I have no time for that. We want to fight dirty people. We don't care what people say. We will fight them until the nation gets better. The same way I've been fighting Anadu. Same way I've been fighting Baumia. Same way I fought Bahama when he was in power. Same way I fought Kufuor. I would wait for some charlatan to come and lead all of us into a, a sinking Titanic. We are not crazy people. We have brains. Somebody can just disappear and go and steal money from all farmers and all people in England and America. Steal their credit cards Vimba and so on and so forth and appear all of a sudden and say he has money, vote for him. And idiots also follow and go and then vote for people like that. At the end of the day, when we are suffering, we say we don't understand. Look how the Naku Fado is behaving. Like a baby with no brains. I mean, for some people are interpreting Black Raster's recent video as a total hate towards an Anna Kwame Bidia. Almost a agenda against uh, him for uh, being one of the young uh, man vying to take over the affairs of uh, Ghana. Notwithstanding, a lot more uh, supporting Black Rasta. Almost pushing his own exposing Anna Kwame Bidia. For I drink forever. Fa your comment session on my Vimbaz TV.